All right, welcome back to another Concord Rangers episode. Um, today we start off with um, what well, is actually probably quite a tricky game away at Brighton. Uh, Brighton is sixth at the moment. They've started the season reasonably well. Um, just going to look at their results. Reasonably well, only a couple of defeats their way at Leicester and away at Man City, which is understandable, but won their other games. Um, obviously, the main game they were testing was that Man City game, and they lost, so this is obviously, we're obviously going to be one of their toughest tests so far this year, so far this season. Um, yeah. I'm hoping that uh, we can overturn that performance against Inter Milan. That was really disappointing. Only ever lost twice to Brighton. I I, I think I said this last time we played them. Um, I think they were both in the same season. That season, that, that, that second Premier League season when we did so badly. If I look at our past meetings, um, you'd be able to tell. Uh, where are we? Any second now, it will load up. I promise. Any second now. And here we are. Okay, yeah, two games. Yeah, well, actually, there you go. That, that was the first season we played them. We drew them both, but drew them both home in a way in the first season. In the second season, we got battered at home. I remember that game. Got absolutely humiliated at home, four-one. Then lost three-two in a game. I went, yeah, I went two-one up, one-nil and two-one up, and then lost three-two. But since then, I've only drawn twice with them, beating them every other time. So we got good, a good record against Brighton. Um, in terms of the team today, obviously Stocker is injured, so Fatai will start. Uh, I'm going to try and play as full strength as I can. I don't want to take this game for granted in any way. I want to play Davis in midfield. Like he was one of the best midfielders in in the world, and you. He just doesn't want to play him. Um, well, Davis and Smith, obviously. Uh, Hughes and Frith there. He still wants to play Bruninho. He's suggesting Bruninho. Oh, my word, I didn't mean to do that. But Bruninho is almost back to full fitness. Um, hmm. I might play Roblevsky. Roblevsky, actually, I signed from Brighton. But I'll bring Bruninho on, uh, most definitely. Um, Kennedy on the bench, don't really need him. Actually, I'll look at the fitness of the players I've got on there at the moment, just to make sure that everyone's okay. Yeah, slight concern around Ben Rabba. I mean, actually, Garcia is on 91, so I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i put Kennedy on there. And I'll put Prosperi in there. Ismaili and Zemfroff, I'd quite like to be on the bench, because I've got two defenders, so I'll take off Frith and put on Ismaili. Samvarov, Samvarov can go. Do do do. Hackett is mainly Perez. Don't really need Perez and Bruninho, so I'll take off Perez. Put Samvarov on the bench. Uh, uh, make sure they're all happy in their roles. Okay, and then attack, advance forward. For Blessed, yeah. So that's the. Pretty much full strength. A couple of areas, obviously Stocker and Bruninho will probably be in if it was full strength, but almost there. Um, that's the team I'm playing. Deal with it. Okay. A long time to get the game today, isn't it? Blimey. Okay, there we go. Any ex Concord players in there? Omar Kaiba, he's ex Concord. He's obviously been at Brighton for a while now. He's playing central midfield, he usually plays in attacking midfield. Um, no, other than that, don't recognise any of them, but we've got an ex Brighton player in, uh, in Rob Levski. Prove a point, I agree. Back. Inter performance was very disappointing, very annoying. Um, got to come back from that. Got to come back from that today. Got a highlight at the beginning. How lovely. What a wonderful surprise. Ben Rabba knocks it back to Kennedy. Ben Rabba, Hughes. Nice ball. Oh, I was going to say nice ball with Davis, but it's an inserted. Oh, well played, Harvey. Good work from Harvey. 
He had a good season thus far, but it's a poor ball. I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of these long balls being intercepted at the moment. What's the point in playing him? That's a nice ball there, though. Harvey. Just... The ball comes in. Berrava! Oh! Gone over. That's a good chance, that. That's a good chance, but a good start. A strong start. Uh, actually, West Ham, who are in second at the moment, lost the last game. So a win here. Put us six points clear at the top. Um, and obviously we're aiming for our perfect start to the league. We're continuing. This is now the eighth game. Here's Harvey. Fatai puts one in. Roblevsky. Ben Rabba's there. Oh. Another goal kick, but I think Ben Rabba should have done a little bit better with those two chances. His Fatai has been blocked out. Harvey puts it in. Roblevsky. I'm not sure if he got touched to that, but it's going to continue. The highlight's going to continue. It's all Concord at the moment, but as we know, as we can from can attest from that Inter game. Oh, they've gone around the back. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? It's happened again. The exact same thing happened against Inter Milan, where they play one long ball over the top. The defence were caught out, and they went and scored with their first attack. And it's happened again here. Wow, that is not good, and not the defence. I think their, high, their line might be too high. Maybe the, the defence is too slow. We're being caught out with long balls at the moment. And it's happened again. We've got a free kick here, though. Ball comes in. Headed. Over. Come on. Let's get some shots on target, boys. Only one on target thus far. Starting to worry about this team again. We started the season so well. But now it's just where Ben Rab is missing chances. Right, left and centre. We're having the defence getting caught out with just stupid long balls over the top. It's just happening frequently. Nothing's happening here. Could this be two defeats in a row? After having such a perfect start of the season, we could be staring at two defeats in a row. Ben Rabba's made lots of mistakes. He's got up his game. I'll keep him on, but I'll have a go at him at half-time personally. Corner. Here we go. Here is Ben Rabba. Head away. Monaghan strikes it. Get him. <claps> Lovely effort from Monaghan. Smashed first time on the edge of the area. 1-1. One, one. I'm going to praise him. Bit of, bit of positive reinforcement. Hopefully that goes a long way. One one here though. We've got another chance. Maybe entertaining game thus far. Lots of highlights. Here's Monaghan. Back for Hughes. Fat eye. Ben Rab is still on that right. It's Probovsky. Poyak. Oh. We're by far the better team at the moment. By far. It's still 1 1. But you've got to be thinking that second goal's got to be coming. Just got to keep pressing. Here's Poyak. That's going to be. Oh, he's offside. Maybe one more highlight before half time. But a lot of highlights already in this first half. No, I think that'll be it. Okay, half time. Action packed first half, as the commentary just said there. I agree with that. But we shouldn't have gone behind. So I'm just going to say them that I'm just far. Just in a, assist, in a assertive manner, and I'm not pleased with that first half. Obviously, Monaghan's reacted badly because he scored the goal. Uh, going to be keeping an eye on maybe bringing on Brino. It's a free kick to Brighton. Save a Robinson tipped over. Hmm, okay. I might ask him to just dial it back just a little bit. Don't leave ourselves exposed. Oh, I aren't. Free kick. I thought it was going to give a penalty then. I thought it was going to be a penalty. Right. Come on. Don't get creative. I'm going to look to bring on Bruninho. It would have been nice for a left to score a goal against his old side, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. And we all know Bruninho is one of the best strikers in the world, so... It's just about coming into full fitness now, so should be able to, should play him and give him some time. Uh, go with that for now. In terms of who I bring on later, we've got some good options. Hackett, Zanfarov, Ismaili. There's a goal kick to Brighton. They're playing it out from the back. They had a fair bit of possession to them. Fair play to them. They've been at their handy side. They look they look quite good. Um, they've started the season reasonably well. They lost a couple of games. Okay. Ooh. 
They're keeping the ball quite well in defence here, and they've gone long again. It's gone over the top again. My word. We were beaten by two long balls in this game. Going to have to have a word of the defensive coach um, telling them that it's being done by long balls over the top. Conceded the first goal to it and almost conceded the second. That's what happened with the Inter goal as well, their first goal. Just a long ball over the top and bloody Kaplani scored. Come on. I'm going to demand more from them, to be honest with you. I'm not entirely pleased with the way this game's going. Tough Paul Smith to ease off. The game's running really slowly today. I can feel it's just sluggish. I demand more from what's going on here. <sighs> All right, I mean, both Poliak and Ben Rabbit, it, it's, it's weird. I don't win unless one of them plays well. That's what it takes. It needs one of them to play well. Uh, unfortunately, Ben Rabba has been mm -hmm. quite wasteful. I'm going to take off Ben Rabba, bring on Hackett. Um, Hackett's like for like, really. He can do a similar job. He's probably not as clinical and he's not as explosive as Ben Rabba, but he's very, very good. It's just <sighs> struggling again. Bernino, mate, so far, I mean, obviously he's been injured, so you've got to take that into account. But he scored on the first game of the season and has done nothing since. Um, yeah, it's worrying. It's a worrying state of affairs when you spend 120 million on somebody and he doesn't achieve as much as the guy you spent as a backup for him. Hughes, Hackett, nice ball. Kennedy, got to get that in. Bernino's in there. Does back. Pogak, blocked. Monaghan, Harvey, Monaghan. It's another opportunity goes begging. I'm going to have to ask him to play very attacking. We want to win this game. We want to keep up our 100% record. At the moment, we're just looking a little bit shaky. Like, we can't really try it. Like, why, why doesn't it adjust automatically? Hit early crosses. Shoot on sight might be a bit wasteful, so I won't do that. Be more expressive. Counter, I'm going to drop the defensive line just back a little bit. Might give a bit more space there. Okay, just because I'm worried about being caught on that break again. <sighs> yeah, as it's, it's, it's I said, it seems to be is, is, if Ben Raba, if neither Ben Raba or Poliak have a good game, I don't win. I need one of them to have a good game. And it seems to be happening here. Neither Ben Rabba nor Poyak have showed up today. Neither Ben Rabba nor Poyak showed up against Inter Milan. And when we're trying to win a game, I don't want you to pass around the defence. Christ almighty, Poyak brings it down. Long ball. It's Hackett. Got to score. He does score. Get in. Poyak's ball. Wow. It's a 90th minute winner for Michael Hackett. It's not a great performance from the lads, but we're going to look like we're going to just sneak the win. It's a free kick for Poyak. It's out of the way. Don't get caught on the break, lads. Well played there by Monaghan and Hughes. Played back to the keeper. Robinson. There you go. Smith. Poyak's on the run. They're going to press you, lads. The... The more time you dilly dally around with it, the more mistakes you're going to make. Longball and Brighton have come away. No, they haven't. Hughes is there to tidy up. Hack it. Longball with attack. Poyak's got to score. Does score. It's offside. That's going to be offside. Poyak actually turned up at the end of the game there. Um, so, as I said, I need one of them to, to do something. It needs to be Poyak or Ben Rabba, but one of them needs to do something for us to get something out of the game. Poyak put the ball through. Finished off by Hack it. We've won the game. It wasn't pretty. We went 1-0 down. But we've won 2-1. And, yeah, I, uh, I'm going to say it's a bit of a let-off. Because I don't think we were good enough in that game. I don't think we were good enough. But we've come away with a win. And it was, as I said, it was going to be tough. Brighton have played, had a good start to the season. They look really sharp. But we've come away with a win. We maintain our top spot. We maintain our 100% start to the league. Eight wins from eight games. 24 points, 6 points clear at the top of the table already. 
it's looking like a good start to the season, lads. Um, we're going to feature one more game in this episode. Um, and that's going to be the game at home to Leicester. Leicester 14th, so I expect a win. And a good win. All right, then. Leicester at home. Um, oh, Jake Povey scored a hatchet for Watford. Good laugh. Um, I, want, I want us to... to start performing a bit better. Uh, I, I, these last two games have just concerned me a little bit, obviously. Um, I don't know. Just uh, starting to worry. I mean, we've had some good performances this season. Leicester are a bit of a bogey team for us, aren't they? Played them 12 times, lost 5-1-5. Five, five. Actually, I think we lost them last year. I'm not sure if I'm right there. We've lost them a few times recently. I remember we lost them in the Cup. Last year, and I think maybe year before last. No, not year before last. We won, the, won it that year, didn't we? There was, there's been a few times. I think there's been a couple of times we lost them in the cup. Right. Yes, yeah, so we haven't beat them in the, any of the last two times we played them. They were both away. We drew one one in the last game, and then we lost two 0 on the cup the last time we played them. Beat them at home last year quite comfortably. But lost at home to them the season before that. Oh blimey, that was a big result that. That probably was uh, during the title rate, title uh, challenge. Yeah, a few few defeats here and there. Lost them a few times at home as well. Lost in a, a cup fight in a cup quarter final there. Lost them at home back there. Yeah, there's been a few games we lost to these guys. Can't take it for granted. Can't take them for granted at all. Um, we just got to go out there and play. Um, I'm gonna start bringing you today. He's back fully fit. I'm wanting to start firing on all cylinders. That's my phone. Please shut up. Um, I want to start firing on all cylinders. They've got Hughes and Fatai in there, but no Davis. I think, right. I agree with no Davis. For now. That doesn't mean that he doesn't play at all. He is obviously a low on condition as well, so that's fair. But the reason for that is just because I, I just worry about them getting caught over the top. Um, so I'm going to play, and that I'm just not not necessarily that's Davis' fault. Uh, it might be Smith's fault. I'm going to keep an eye on both of them and see if it still happens. I'm going to try and push the defensive line just a little bit further back today as well. Going to play Cuevas because uh, Harvey's gotten injured. Hughes Fatai, I think Stock is still injured, isn't he? Uh, he's coming back, but he's not quite fully fit yet. So Hughes and Fatai is fine. Ben Rabamon and Paul Yak Bruninho, yeah. Hackett Perez, don't need Kennedy on the bench, I think. I'll play. Well, I got a central midfielder, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Put Zanfrov in there. Okay. Gonna ask him to play attacking today. And I'm gonna look at the out of possession lines. Just drop the defensive line back a little bit. We're just getting caught. We've got a few times we're getting caught with long balls over the top. I don't want that to happen anymore. So that's the team today. Let's go. Um, they're a dodgy side, Leicester, but we're home. They're not. They're not started the season particularly well. There's no reason why we can't go out and win this. Um, they've got a couple of players actually I quite look look of. Obviously, they got ex. They got an ex Congo player Tim Ibinger in there. Ben Sorensen's a young central midfielder who I'm quite look at, looking out for. I think Bacon's actually, is he the left back that we used to have? We used to have a left back called Bacon. I think it is, you know. It is, yeah. Well, there you go, bit of a blast from the past. Sold him, sold him, what, five years ago apparently. And he's done all right. Um, not played that much Premier League football, playing mainly for Stoke in the Championship, but he's joined Leicester and he's doing okay. Fair dues. Um, but he's not starting today. Okay. Prove a point. Yeah, um, I don't say I fully expect you to win to keep the run going because I do expect them to win to keep the run going. We're we've we're hundred percent so far this season. Why can't we can't continue that? Um, who else is playing? I don't think West Ham are playing today. We're the early kickoff, so a win here just puts us even further ahead. A win here puts us nine points clear at the top of the table. Um, obviously, West Ham still got a game in hand, so come on. All right. Poex already got low conditioning. That's a bit low worrying. But we've got a free kick here. Garcia plays it long. Ben Rabba's completely free. Drops it back. Brunino's there. <laughs> Lovely stuff. 
lovely vision from Garcia to see Ben Rabba free. Great ball in by Ben Rabba. But Nino nods it in for his second of the season. He's back to full fitness and he's back scoring goals. Love to see it, lads. You love to see it. 1-0. Come on. Cuevas. Fatai. Here he is. Monaghan. Hughes. Cuevas again. Fatai again. Gets that out wide. It's Garcia. Oh, just playing around looking for an opening. Lovely stuff. Okay, I thought it was going to be... Here we go. Baraba again. Get across him, mate. He's been brought down. That's got to be a penalty. Surely that's a penalty. It is. Who's it going to be? Fatai, I think. It'll be Fatai. He's usually a penalty taker when he's on the pitch. Yeah, it will be Fatai. Christian Fatai. 2-0. Sent the keeper the wrong way. No problem so far. Two shots on target. Two goals. Clinical. A uh, bit, bit more clinical than they have been in recent weeks. But delighted with that. I've asked him to play attack and just try and get this game in a position that we in a winnable position early on. And it looks like we're doing that. So that's good stuff. As it stands at the moment, we'll be going nine points clear after nine games, winning all of our first nine games. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Um, okay. They've had a fair bit of possession. To be fair, we've not. They've not. They've not let, sat back. Let's put it that way. They've. They've. They're trying to claim the ball, but looks like we're in control. Here's Poliak. Boy at the top. Monaghan. Oh. Monaghan's had a good start to the season, to be fair to him. Um, he scored a few goals. He's had a couple of assists. I'm, I'm happy with Monaghan's start. Okay, 2-0. Um, there's more work to be done. This game is not over. Um, and I just prove a point. Get him to prove a point. But I will drop it back. I'm not, I don't feel the need to carry on with the attacking. So I just go just go into positive. That'll do. Don't need to be playing long balls to get ourselves in positions that are a bit tricky. So we just stay at that positive. Poliak's not having a... Particularly great game. Ben Rabba had a, a lovely ball in for Bruninho. No, no one's playing particularly well. Obviously, Bruninho's got a, got a good rating because he scored. Here's Smith. Long ball by Smith. It's Ben Rabba. Drop it back. Bruninho's there again. Oh, I couldn't find the net in that tight angle. Phone going again. Please shut up. Thank you. Um, all right, okay. Monaghan, right, what we're doing here, I am going to bring off Poliak, because he's not playing particularly well. I know he's got the ability to. I'll put on Perez, what's, what's Perez's best position? Inside forward, fine, do that. I mean, I'll put Bruninho as deep lion then, so he involves him a bit more. And uh, yeah, we'll stay with that, we'll stay with that. There's a couple of bookings that I probably want to change around. Harewood's done okay. I've not seen any, any instance of being caught with the long ball as well, so... That doesn't mean that Davis is culpable for that. It just means that Leicester might not be playing that lot, uh, playing that uh, tactic. And Davis is still world class. He's probably the best defender I've got in the club. Oh! Ben Rabba striking one from range. Just going wide. Almost a lovely goal for him. I'm going to bring off, bring on Zan Farov. Monaghan's played reasonably well, but with what the role that... Um, Bruninho is now playing, means that I can play Zanfrov on attack, bring him back to support. And yeah, we'll stay with that for now. Gonna give Bruninho a full game. I've not I don't think he's played a full game since the first game of the season, so. And he scored a goal as well, which I'm always happy with. Alright, alright, that's it. Good, 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 good pressing. Good pressing there from Bernabra on the right. He almost gave it away to Zan for all of them. Oh, well played, Quivas. Perez. Cuts inside. He's going alone, Perez. It's over his left foot, Paul. Should have probably gone with his right, to be fair. That was a really weak shot with his left. Um, keep it at that for now. I've made two substitutions already. Here's Ben Rabbit. Ball comes in. Headed in by Perez. I tell you what, it's assist by Bruninho. Did Bruninho put that ball in? I thought Bernard, Bernard put that ball in. 
I tell you what, Perez is really, really handy. He gets involved in goals wherever he plays, whether it be the right, the left, or up front. He's a really good player. Really good player. I think I found a good one there. Um, he had a good season on loan at Lyon last year as well. So, yeah. Solid player. 3-0. Looking good. I'm going to take a, bring a substitution on. I tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to bring on Prosperi for Hughes and get Prosperi to play box to box. He could be really useful, I think, in games where we kind of haven't played a bit of counter Prosperi because he's just got energy. So, 10 minutes to go. Free and up. Looking very comfortable. His Zamper off. So I miss him. After a mini blip, it's nice to get results like this. It's nice to get results. It's only a tiny, it was a tiny little blip, obviously just a blip of effectively one game. But I just wasn't happy with the um, with the Brighton game either. I thought the Brighton game was really, really dodgy. So, um, Sam Farov gives it to Prosperi. Bruninho, lovely ball. Ben Raba, wonderful goal. Another assist by Bruninho. He's playing brilliantly. Lovely strike by Ben Raba, 4-0. Two goals and assists for Bruninho, a goal and assist for Ben Rabba. Great stuff. Those two linking up yet again, like they did back in the day. Could it be five? Ooh, caught by a keeper, but the highlight's not over. We only had one clear cut chance. Um, I'm not sure whether I should be concerned by that or not. I mean, that means that we're not we're not we're not creating real good chances. We're just being extremely clinical today. Um, it's Ben Rabber again. What a run. Oh, should have done better. Should have done better. Shot right at the keeper. Highlight's still not over. Not going to be another. Leicester have just completely fallen apart here, haven't they? They've just completely dropped their defences. Ball again. Bruninho tackled well. Howard, Smith, Cuevas, Perez. Jason Perez brought down. That's going to be a free kick. I think it'll probably be full time any second now. Well, we're going to get a free kick, I think. Maybe one more goal. Caught by a keeper. This will just tip the seconds down, I think, and then that'll be 4 0 the final score. Yeah, I'll just play it around. Whistle, go. 4 0. Much better. Much better. Four different goal scorers as well, which is always nice to see. Bruninho, Fatai, Perez, and Bermaba. I'm happy with that. I'm happy that Bruninho's got back on the score sheet. Poor game from Poljak, really. But um, as I said, as I said to you before, it takes one of Bermaba and Poljak to play well for us to win a game. And uh, today it was Bermaba. Bermaba with a goal and assist. A goal and two assists for Bruninho as well. So he's back in uh, back on form. I am buzzing with that. Really good. Very pleased with the performance and the result. Nice for them to start scoring goals a bit more freely as well because there's a couple of games where I felt like I'm... Obviously, it was good against Man United. The Man United game, we were attacked well and scored well. But, but there you go, nine points clear at the top of the table. We're having a laugh. Obviously, West Ham have got a game in hand, so if they win that game in hand, that goes back down to six again. Uh, not sure who they've got, but uh, we'll take a look, actually. Who have they got? I think they're playing Chelsea, actually, as it happens. They are playing Chelsea, but Chelsea have started the season really badly. Down in 11th already. There's some real poor performances from some teams. Liverpool. Liverpool, man. Like, let's have a look. I just, I know it's going to take some time. But this, the first season we entered the Premier League was that season. And Liverpool won the league, right? Let's look at Liverpool's development since then. We're like, actually, we can see it, out, can't we, on the club screen? Yeah, there you go. So Liverpool won the league in our first season. The season after, we finished 11th. That was when we had a bad season as well. Then since then, they've only fin they finished second a couple of seasons after that. Third, second, down to sixth, two fourths, and finished ninth last year. Shocking. Sadio Mane is their manager. He's how long has he been manager for? Well, he f yeah, he finished the he joined in December last year, so he was the responsible for them finishing ninth, whether that's good or bad. They won the Europa League though last year, so there is that. Um, Stephen Gerrard was their manager for just over two day, two years before he was sacked. I love looking at this. Who the hell is Davide Ancelotti? Carlo Ancelotti was their manager for a bit, and then Davide Ancelotti took over. I don't have no idea who that is. 
Yeah, I like looking at the managers because you see all sorts of weird names creeping in. Eddie Newton was a caretaker manager. Ancelotti retired from means that he retired from management. Yeah, two team two managers retired. Who's their longest manager since then? Kiki Setien, Simone and Zaghi. Klopp was sacked after nine years. He obviously started quite well and then just got sacked. Nine years though, you sack a man manager after nine years, do you? There you go, lads. Um, if you want me to do an episode and when we go through and look at like uh, old players and clubs and see their manager history and see player history, then I'll be all, all up for doing that. But uh, we might do that when the season comes to an end. If it comes to if it comes to an end of the season, it might do. But at the moment, things are looking very rosy. We are well clear at the top of the league. We've won fourteen matches in a row in the league. Um, that's obviously including the back end of last season as well. Where we won five and then bounced towards the end of last season. We've also then gone and won the next nine at the beginning of the season, including games against Arsenal, Liverpool, Man United and Man City. It's looking bright. It's looking bright. I'm not going to lie. Um, that's today's episode. Um, next episode, tomorrow's episode, is going to feature these two games here, I think. Um Away at Levski Sofia and away at Reading. Should be two wins. Should be two wins. Two teams I'd expect to beat. But you never know. You never know. Strange results come up. So we're just going to keep going and hope that it all goes well. Um, I will see you on tomorrow's episode where we will be travelling all the way to Sofia in Bulgaria. For the first time. Cheers, eh?